Hello and welcome to EV Review Ireland. My name is Derek Riley and today we're going to be looking at the stunningly beautiful Honda E. It may be raining, but it's not going to dampen our spirits. Let's get started. Trying to do a bit of this when it's raining outside is difficult, but we will get through it. Um, as we get into the car, it is a frameless door uh, and the handles are flush mounted so that they appear to you as you walk towards them or you press it and they'll come out towards you. It is a five door, you might not uh, see that in the uh, side profile or even just by looking at it. They've hidden that door handle in the C pillar at the back uh, in that black portion. Uh, just. Uh, at the back corner of the window, very similar to the Renault Zoe. Um, also, another feature that I like, another uh, design element that I like, is the brown seatbelts. May not be everybody's tastes. The actual look may not be to everybody's tastes, but what they're going for is that kind of a lounge experience. Um, it reminds me of um, something very mim minimalistic. Um, I like it. Um, the design of the actual Honda E itself, you can see from the outside, is very similar to the first Civic back in the 1970s. Um, and it has that hockey puck C pillar at the back, a hockey stick C pillar at the back, um, and that uh, grille joining the two headlights at the front. Um, interior, uh, where do we start? Uh, sunroof, um, panoramic sunroof that can be closed and opened. Um, with a cover but the actual sunroof itself uh, doesn't open or close it's all one unit um, with honda ireland the honda e comes in two variants the base model and the advanced version so with the base model after government grants the price is coming in at twenty nine thousand nine hundred and ninety five euros and with the advanced version with a couple of bit of extras uh, the electric motor is a bit more powerful that's coming in at thirty two thousand nine hundred and ninety five so about three thousand not about three thousand euros in the difference with honda ireland what they've done is they've ordered in all advanced options because they feel that's where the market is if you are interested in a base model they will order it for you but it will be down the line uh, factories have opened and closed in japan uh, due to the pandemic so just be aware that it may take a bit longer you will start to see these on the road at the end of october 2020 in ireland it was supposed to be 2021 but honda ireland pushed for them to get into the marketplace um, and they've achieved that so you will start to see them on the road uh, and in the dealer network uh, with the dealer network, they've chosen five dealers around the country uh, in the urban centres, two in Dublin, one in Cork, one in Limerick and one in Galway, because it is an urban car. Uh, the battery size is 35.5 kilowatt hours and it has a usable range within that battery of 28 and a half, roughly, uh, kilowatt hours of use. So the WLTP is saying over 200 kilometres, but you're probably going to get around 180. EV database website has it around 180 real world. Today, it's just a first look. I only have it for a couple of hours, so I won't get that chance to test it out. But even seeing the range on the dash here, it's in over 186 kilometers worth of range. So what Honda of Ireland have done is they've ordered the advanced version. So the advanced version is a bigger uh, uh, kilowatt uh, electric motor. I think it's 100 kilowatt in the base and 113 kilowatts in the uh, larger one. So it's over 150 horsepower equivalent. But what they've done is with the advanced, it normally comes with a 17 inch wheel, um, but they've actually spec'd it out with the 16 inch wheel because you get a bigger range. It's about a 10 to 12 kilometer, maybe even a bit more of a range difference depending on the type of wheel that you have on it. So Honda Ireland, they've ordered in the advanced option, which is 32,995 uh, with the 16 inch wheel. Comes in four colors as uh, in Ireland uh, that they've ordered in. So it's the blue, the black, the white, and the gray. They all have fancy colors, but uh, that's what the colors, the metallic silver. Um, but there is a lovely shocking yellow but uh, that is going to be a special order. So if you ordered it in October of 2020, it's probably going to be end of Q1 of 2021 before you get it. So that's the price, that's the battery. Battery is the same on both models, it's 35.5 with the usable 28 and a half kilowatts. Uh, kilowatt. Inside you've got this beautiful two spoke steering wheel, which you don't see too often. And it is a large steering wheel for what is a, technically a, a compact uh, city car. Uh, another design feature that you're going to be getting used to very quickly is the screens on either side. So you've got two six inch screens uh, for your wing mirrors. 
Uh, these are the first mass-produced uh, electric wing mirrors, uh, sorry, first electric wing mirrors on a mass-produced car that's not, that is as standard. Whereas with the Audi e-tron, um, you have to spec them out. These ones are very close into the side profile of the car. The actual wheel arches are further out. So you, you won't be clipping the wing mirror or the, the rear view mirror uh, camera holders. You'll clip the side of the car first if you were up tight to something. So rather than trying to explain it, I am using a bit of footage from Honda themselves. So the reason that they went with the side cameras is reducing drag, uh, wind noise reduction, but also the fact that you can actually see a bit better and a bit more. So it is, um, in this video, you can see that they've used what it looks like with a regular conventional mirror. And then with the cameras, you can see it's a slightly normal, normal view, wider view, sorry. And then they actually have a wide angle view that will capture even more. So it's showing you then the visibility in the rain. It's coated with a special uh, cover that doesn't allow uh, dirt to, to cling to it or water. Uh, and then when you're parking, it gives you a better angle as well. So I think once you get used to these cameras, it might be difficult to get back into something else. And it's the way it's going to go. On the steering wheel itself, you have your voice control and, and um, audio settings on the right hand side on the left hand side then you've got your cruise control your limiter and uh, you've got your heated steering wheel on this advanced option it, it is leather uh, behind that then you've got your um, regenerative braking and those four edges of that then you've got your lighting stock and you have your wiper stocks in front of the driver you have an over an 8.3 inch or over 8 inch uh, TFT display uh, so it is driver dis what is the mode that you're in the kilometers the power the charge um, so it all has all of that um, on the dash itself then you've got two 12.3 inch touchscreens uh, and when you um, you can have a function on one screen and you can shift it over to the passenger side and the passenger can be working away on that uh, in the on the screens it is mainly the tech interface so it is your radio it is whatever you've plugged in it is your navigation what they have done is they've kept the climate control and the um, air conditioning all separate underneath that then you've got two 12 volts and you have a um, ac uh, three pin plug up to 1500 watts two usb type a's and even an hdmi port so you can connect in a, a chromecast or an amazon fire stick uh, or a games console underneath then you have a um, slot for your phone center console is floating there is very little transmission tunnel underneath that um, not floating sorry it's between the two the driver and the passenger seat on that you have your parking button you have your reverse your neutral and your drive mode selector you have one pedal driving uh, button there uh, and you can change the regenerative braking levels also then if you didn't want one pedal driving i really like one pedal driving as you know if you've watched my leaf reviews uh, electric handbrake and you've got your drive modes which are normal and sport and then behind that then you've got a um, space holder with some dividers that you can move around uh, recycled uh, material seats it's a four-seater, uh, two ISO fits, two ISO fix seating uh, positions in the back. Uh, your glove box is a fairly decent size uh, for a small compact car. Uh, on the top of the dash, you've got this wood effect. It's not wood; it's just wood effect. And you have your audio on off. You have your home button, and you also have an NFC uh, place, which is also on the B pillar. Um, you'll notice an NFC logo and that is if you have an Android phone you can send digital keys to friends and family somebody has to move it somebody has to bring a charge in and you're not around you can send them uh, the digital key to their phone the app is going to be available in Ireland uh, in 2021 uh, hopefully at the earlier start of that lots going on in here uh, the advanced model also comes with a um, camera mounted rear view mirror but you can turn it off by just flicking it back to a regular uh, mirror size so seats are comfortable uh, they are uh, heated three stage and passenger front and left um, beautiful design feel quality really looking forward to taking it out on the road when i get it for a couple of days um, let's have a sit in the back this seat is set for me um, but let's see what the space is like in the back there Beautiful uh, design touch of some fabric, a fabric loop that you pull out. With the aquarium, you can touch the screen and it'll drop some food there for your fishes, for your fish. <laughs> uh, and just something to do when you're charging your car.
using some more Honda footage just to explain those beautiful push button start and you've got the beautiful 12.3 inch screens so you can customize the wallpaper on it uh, and you can upload your own image if you want that as well uh, on the left and the right hand side of the screens you have the different modules or apps that are and you can change and customize them uh, you can also see what recent apps you've used so you can uh, very similar to a phone or a tablet uh, with the um, driving modes and assistance and car settings you can also have ev mode where you can uh, schedule when the car charges so if you're on an, an energy tariff that has a cheaper price point at a certain time all of this will be available through the app as well that's coming next year all the driver assists collision mitigation low speed braking control blind spot etc navigation is in there as well it's also compatible with android auto and apple carplay connections wi-fi and bluetooth you can change it to the other screen so that the passenger can control the information on that screen and then you finally you've got your uh, personal assistant which is okay honda uh, and you can it's in context of what you say so if you ask for information for the weather or a restaurant it knows what you're talking about for those that don't, don't already know i'm six foot two so 186 centimeters and this seat is set for me it is tight now they do say it is a four seater so it is and you can spread out uh, behind the seat you've got a map pocket you also have two USB type C's. You've got a headrest as well. Height is actually good. Uh, this car is slightly, um, and you also have a button uh, to turn the lights on and off. These four lights uh, overhead, uh, lots of airbags around the place as well. Uh, again, the brown seat belts are in the back. Um, so yeah, it's a flat um, bench style seat and you've got your isofix seatings as well. These seats do fall down, so you get about 850 odd litres once the seats fall down. We'll have a look in the boot here now, but it is uh, one of the uh, downfalls of the Honda E. But it's designed that way, so it is a 171 litre uh, boot space that's in the back. Uh, so it is tight for space. Um, so this is the Honda E from the front in the rain. Uh, and you can see right on top of the bonnet, you can see exactly where the uh, charger is going to be. Uh, and you can use that from the um, key fob. You can press a button on the front as well. Uh, and you can see this type two CCS uh, chargers in there. Close it, you just use your finger uh, and close it down. It's a glass front on there. Now the front of it as well, you also have a button uh, that down here, the cam beside the camera, but there's also a button for opening it up. Um, so the camera, there's a number of cameras all the way around uh, for the pro pilot or park pilot, apologies. Uh, you can see the, um, dash or the, the uh, joining the two headlights and that beautiful black uh, glass finish on the um, concept vehicle that was released at the Geneva Motor Show in 2017 you can remember the Honda badge was illuminated that hasn't carried over but it's not far away from what was actually at the Geneva Motor Show you can see all the sensors down along the bottom uh, but this is a beautiful color blue side profile you can see uh, those wing mirrors that we talked about or the lack thereof and the, you've got the cameras uh, so down here you've got a camera but also underneath you have to, for the ability to help it park these are those 16 inch wheels and 17 inch are a bit more distinctive and they have the uh, the little white or sorry the silver elements around the side of it so it's very quick to spot it uh, this is the door handle that i was talking about when we're on the inside um, and to open it and you can put it back in and then up here you have very zoe-esque the cameras or sorry the handles um, so yeah and then you've got that um, hockey stick look to it here with the a and b pillar and the black and you've got that floating roof design the rear is gorgeous as well uh, it has that very similar to the front nearly with the black glass joining the two um, tail lights uh, you've got your fog lights and reversing lights in there as well and the camera for the rear view mirror is actually up here and there's a heating element in front of it and it's within the swipe path of the uh, rear view mirror the boot the 171 liters that we talked about uh, underneath and um, they have the type 2 car charging cable in underneath there and uh, there's a little place for that and your uh, puncture repair kit so it is a tight it is a small boot uh, but overall gorgeously beautifully designed car uh, really nice um, for Honda to enter the EV space 
with, with this level of quality of car. Battery is small, boot is small, but it is a small SUV. Sorry, small comp. It is a small city car. Uh, they don't make any bones about that. So if it suits you, it suits you. Uh, I think you're going to see a lot of these in the road. Main competitor is the Mini Electric for this price range. You've got cheaper cars like the Renault Zoe and the E208 uh, that have bigger ranges. Uh, so I think that this is going to be going up against people that are interested in uh, a stylish city car that is going to... Um, but the Mini is faster, it is slightly cheaper. So if you want something unique, this may be the car for you. Um, hopefully you're enjoying the review. If you are, it's not really a review, it's more of a first look. Uh, we will be getting it for a longer period of time. Um, but if you are enjoying it, if you can subscribe and like to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, we're getting that to that close. To that 1000 mark. One thing I didn't cover already was the EV charging time. So on board it is a 6.6 .6 kilowatt AC charger uh, and so a charging time of 0 to maximum is about 5 hours 15 minutes and then the fast charge is a maximum capacity of 50 kilowatt DC uh, and 0 to 80 in 36 minutes. I was wondering about the other colours. We have the white here and also the metallic grey. Uh, I didn't get a chance to look at the black. So that is our first look at the new Honda E. Just looking at the features today, we only have it for a couple of hours. We're going to give it a proper road test once we get it for a number of days in a couple of weeks time. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. If you have, if you can subscribe and like, I'd really appreciate it. And remember, if you think an EV is for you, leave it to me and I'll review. Thanks for watching.